Welcome back to Real South Tony. We got another fine episode for y'all. On today's show, we go from a first time boat kill to some old pros just doing what they know how to do, putting some meat on the ground. Now we're back from Kansas. I've done got spoiled. It's so hot. I got my new bow and I'm just ready to put it to work. You ain't gonna believe this. I just shot my first deer with a, with a bow. Right after killing a monster in Kansas. I mean, I don't know what to think. Second set of the year. Yeah, second set of the year. I've killed two deer. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on, man. Yeah. 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 Now I know it's not going to be an easy task finding this bow because I look ahead of me and I'm going to have to get on my hands and knees and crawl and go through this pine thicket. We just went back and got the side by side because we had to go get the machete. This deer's in here pretty deep. Uh, but we're going to get her out there. We gotta be getting close to this deer. I don't think so. Make a deal with it. You drag, you drag it out. I'll skin it. <laughs> no. Come on, I got, I got a, I got a cord. Oh, there she is. There she is. Hmm. Final. Final. Yeah. Riders are getting me. All right, flip her around. Well, after tracking this deer, she went through about the thickest stuff I've ever been through in my life. She knew it was worth it. Sweet back trap. It's gonna taste so good. 
First deer with your bow, tell me about all that. Oh yeah. This is also my first deer with my bow. Super excited. Couldn't be more happy. Hope I can get to do it again. Wrap it up, these mosquitoes are terrible. Yeah. Peace out, people. It's end of October, it's still uh, bow season here in South Mississippi. Uh, Mary Claire and I were home for the weekend. Stubbs has been running some cameras here at the river. So I get up one morning, I'm drinking my coffee. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go sit and stand. So it's a, it's a ladder stand that, that we all hunt uh, right here, probably, I don't know, 200 yards, 250 yards from the house. Ton of deer movement, it's right on the edge of uh, some pines. Uh, it goes out into a, a little cutover. Sure enough, right off the bat, see some does feeding through. Got to watch them, had a spike that was basically there the entire time I was in the stand. And uh, then I seen him slipping through. So we, we've had a problem the last couple of years with these deer with, with one one slick side and uh, and so whenever I saw that slick main beam coming through, I knew that I needed wanted to go ahead and take him out of the herd. All right, that's the first buck of the year. Time to grind for a couple more weeks and we'll be back in the woods. May get to go scout next weekend, we'll see. We'll see. Old Dan has got her done. First morning he come back to hunt with me. Of course I put him in the honey hole and he didn't disappoint. Dan, come on in, got him. What about it, Dan? Feels good. Feels good, first buck I've killed a bow in probably three or four years. I'm on the board, I got this and a doe, so things are looking up. Heck yeah. This stand is really in there. It's in their, ho in their home, it's in their house. And so it's cool, you know, I'm watching deer just, just do their own thing. They're not necessarily feeding, they're just kind of, I watched a couple deer bed down, you know, like it's it's cool because you can sneak in here from the back. It's 200 yards from the house and, and you don't disturb anything. You get to see deer in their natural habitat. But, uh, but yeah, we, I made it in here and, and, and saw a deer all morning, and uh, we subbed me getting pictures of this deer pretty frequently the past couple of weeks, and um, it just worked out that you know he came in and I was able to get a shot with Matthews. Um, this is the buck I wanted him to shoot. I told him last night. I told him I, we had an old slick horn deer here last couple of years. We've been trying to kill because we know he's going to be breeding those. He was an older buck, and I said a little slick. And done made it on the horizon, Dan. There's a lot better bucks here. 
And I don't blame you if you shoot at the butter buck, but if old Slickhorn Jr. comes in, he would be the, the one you need to get out of the herd for sure. And sure enough, old Dan, uh, old Dan took care of old Slick number two, Slick Jr., or whatever we're gonna call him. It's always great whenever I can come home and hang out with friends and family, and huge shout out to Stubbs for always making sure stands are up and always making sure we've got lanes cut. And uh, he does an amazing job of, of really, you know, providing a place for us to hunt, and I, I can't thank you enough. So our bow season opens up October the 15th, and if I remember serving me right, I think it was October 21st, first week of bow season before I finally got a chance to go bow hunting. So the temperature outside was 86 degrees, and I was debating on going, but when you got a day off to go hunting, you better go hunting, because if I wouldn't have went that day, I'd have missed out on one of the nicest deer that I've killed in South Mississippi with a bow. First evening, South Mississippi. Uh, can't believe it, uh, first evening. I uh, got to hunt, I uh, hunted one morning for a couple hours before work. Season's only been open two weeks. It's uh, just a honor and privilege to be here to try. This is something you wait on for a long time. We got us, we got us a buck down over there, we just gotta pick him up. That afternoon I was self-filming with the GoPro and I had it set up on a tree arm uh, facing forward where I could get a pretty good angle and just so happened like they always do uh, by myself and the deer come out to the right and behind me and uh, something had bumped the deer apparently uh, just got a blessing uh, coyote or something there was a doe come bouncing through uh, there and it caught my attention and then right behind the doe about Two minutes or less, here comes this buck right up the trail and right behind her going in the same direction. Trying to count them up now. Count them up, boys. Oh, yeah. A nice 10 point. A 10 point. With a booth here in the south. I just put my hands on him. Saying, he's a, he's, he's a big one. Yeah, he's a, he's a big one. Ten. Ten points, Jack. Yeah. Uh, my brother Daniel come help me pick the deer up uh, with a side by side and we got it, got it up. I called Brooke and Stubbs and Big A. We had talked a little bit on the phone about what was going on. There's the man. There's the man. Hey, hey, hey. What you doing, boy? Lucy killed the deer. Several people would come around. We went to the skinning shed, the old skinning shed at the farm where we always gather up and had a good time with friends and looked at the deer and some of the foods and things. Just just had an enjoyable evening with the deer. All right, guys. My name's Jay Thompson. I just started. This is my first uh, hunt with Real South Hunting. A uh, little funny story about how I got started. Stubbs and I and Brooke went down to Southern Boys Outdoor and uh, for a bow shoot. And Stubbs rode with me, and when I got home, uh, Stubbs had left his camera in the, in the back seat of my truck, so I call him, you know, and ask him if he wants me to bring it back. And he says, yeah, but it better have some footage on it. I told him, yeah, I go get some footage. One of my favorite ways to hunt hogs is out of a ground blind with a bow at night. What's up, guy? Well, I'm here in New Haven, Mississippi. It's about 6.45 in the evening. I decided to come out tonight, hunt all night, try to go and take care of some of these hogs that I got on this piece of property. They've been coming in here and rooting this plot up. Uh, it's about 60 degrees right now. It's supposed to get down to 45. It's going to be a pretty pleasant night to sit. Got me some extra clothes. But anyway, Sit here and see what happens. We're up close and personal with uh, with a couple of pigs, so uh, check this hunt out. 
Alright guys, well that was a pretty successful hunt. I got them drug out, piled up, then they go get the, the old ranger, get them loaded up back to camp, get them cleaned out. A little 35, 40 pound haul, exactly what I like to kill as far as eating size. Uh, good meat right there, we'll throw them on the smoker hole. All in all, it was a pretty good night. I'll probably get after them again here a couple more nights. But. Anyway, I hope y'all have a blessed morning. See you next time. All right, so uh, I'm not a professional cameraman by no one, no means, but Brooke has got me in training on how to run these cameras. As you can tell from some of these videos that, uh, that I'm not the greatest in the world, but I am getting better at it. Uh, I'm out here hunting these hogs, you know, at night self video, and that's kind of tricky doing it at night, fumbling around in the blind and trying to keep from spooking these pigs when they're so close to you. Uh, it's kind of challenging. Well, it's like three o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm in Pine Oval, Mississippi, about to go get after some hogs. My mom and I have uh, been baking these hogs up in a little food plot, an old food plot that's been there for years. Uh, we've been putting out Country Boys Deer Scent Lure Mineral and uh, for our deer, but the hogs, they, they've been coming in, tearing it up, rooting it up pretty good. And uh, they've been coming in at five to six o'clock in the morning, but last night, right after I went to sleep, they come in at nine o'clock, what my covert camera's been telling me, so. Anyway, hopefully they'll come back this morning. And I'm um, not too sure. I just had some coyotes cutting up about 15 minutes ago here in this field next to us. Normally they'll spook the uh, hogs out. But you never know unless you go. So we will go give them a try. Anyway, we'll get sprayed down with my country boys earth scent and uh, go get after them. So I'm sitting here at full draw with this hog at 10 yards, 12 yards from the blind. And uh, I'm getting tired of holding this bow back, but finally the camera zooms in on him when he stops and uh, everything's clear. And uh, I let that air fly and put it on its marten. I look up and there's this little eight point buck comes out. And uh, that was just, uh, that was cool to me to be sitting there talking and this buck come out kind of looking around, you know, the food plot. Alright guy, well, the old pig did exactly what I wanted him to do. He come up out of that holler, come out in that food plot, 
just like he's been doing. Been getting him on my covert camera uh, just about every morning there, breaks the daylight. Uh, I knew if I ever got that good east wind that uh, that I was gonna probably probably get him. The odds were gonna be in my favor, and uh, yeah, they ended up being this morning. Thank the good Lord. Give him all the glory for letting me be able to do this, even get up in the morning, giving me the help to be able to come out and hunt these pigs like I like to hunt them. Up close and personal out of a ground bun. Uh, the shot was exactly where, where I thought it was going to be and where I put the pin. So got him right on the ball of that shoulder and uh, we got probably about 10, 12 inches of penetration up in the chest cavity. He didn't go 80 yards. The blood trail was just massive. But uh, it's starting to warm up a little bit. And I got to get him dressed out and uh, get him out of here. Man, it was just a great hunt to be able to go out on my grandfather's land. It means so much to me. That's where my hunting career started. Uh, I killed my first turkey on this piece of property. Uh, killed my first deer with a bow when I was 12 on this piece of property. Caught plenty of catfish off of it. You know, it just means a lot to be able to get out and hunt it. All right, we got bucks and does and hogs all down in one episode. Man, it's, it's, it's heating up here in Mississippi. Now next week, Stubbs is going to be pheasant hunting in South Dakota, and me and him going to be back in Arkansas on a buck hunt. I thought they were going to pick me up and fly away. I'm not a professional cameraman, but uh, Stubbs has got me in training, so it can get better. <laughs> All right.